Have you ever pondered over the idea of the singularity? A point in time when artificial intelligence surpasses human intellect and changes the world as we know it. In the broadest sense, that's the singularity for you. It's this fascinating, yet somewhat intimidating concept that's been stirring up quite a buzz in both scientific and philosophical circles. But why? Well, let's delve into it a bit further. The singularity, at its core, is a theoretical event horizon. It's a point at which artificial intelligence, or AI, accelerates beyond human comprehension, making predictions about the future nearly impossible. It's like trying to see past the event horizon of a black hole. We simply can't because the laws of physics as we understand them cease to function. Similarly, with the singularity, our current understanding of society and technology becomes inadequate. Imagine a world where AI does not just match, but surpasses human intelligence. This isn't about robots taking over jobs or machines that can beat us at chess. We're talking about AI that's capable of inventing new forms of technology, solving complex problems, and essentially, thinking for itself. Now this idea isn't without its controversies. Some express excitement over the limitless possibilities, envisioning a future where AI could solve our most pressing problems, from climate change to disease. Others, however, warn of potential negative implications, such as loss of control over these super-intelligent systems, or even the possibility of human obsolescence. So, why should we care? Well, whether we embrace it or fear it, the singularity represents a significant shift in our world. It's not just about technology, but about the very nature of intelligence and consciousness. It challenges our understanding of what it means to be human and the role we play in the universe. So the singularity is not just a concept, but a potential reality that could shape our future in ways we can't yet fully comprehend. Our journey towards the singularity did not begin yesterday. It is a culmination of decades of technological advancements. Let's take a step back in time. Picture the mid-20th century. The world was recovering from the scars of the Second World War and technology was simmering with potential. In that backdrop, the first general-purpose electronic computer, ENIAC, was born. This beast of a machine, taking up an entire room, was a marvel of its time capable of solving complex numerical problems. But little did we know, this was just the beginning of an incredible journey. Fast forward to the 1960s. A time of change, a time of revolution. And amidst this, another revolution was quietly taking place. The birth of the internet, or as it was known then, the ARPANET. A network of computers communicating with each other, breaking down the barriers of distance and time. It was a concept so revolutionary, it would forever change the way we live, work, and interact. But the journey didn't stop there. As we moved into the late 20th century, a new player entered the game, artificial intelligence. AI was no longer a concept confined to science fiction novels. It was real, and it was here. From Deep Blue defeating world champion Garry Kasparov in chess in 1997, to IBM's Watson winning Jeopardy in 2011, these were not just victories, they were milestones, steps on the ladder leading us closer to the singularity. The 21st century saw an explosion of AI and machine learning. Machines were no longer just tools. They were learning, adapting, and evolving. They were starting to understand our languages, recognize our faces, and even drive our cars. The lines between human intelligence and artificial intelligence were beginning to blur. And then, came the era of quantum computing, a technology so advanced it could potentially solve problems that would take our best supercomputers millions of years in just a few seconds. Quantum computers, like Google Sycamore, are pushing the boundaries of what machines can do. Today, we stand at the precipice of a new age, an age where machines could potentially surpass human intelligence. The concept of singularity, once a distant dream, now seems within our grasp. We are living in a time when our creations are starting to outsmart us, learning at a pace we can barely keep up with. The journey to the singularity is not a sprint. It's a marathon, a relay race where each generation passes on the baton to the next. From the first electronic computer to the birth of the internet, from the dawn of AI to the era of quantum computing, each milestone has been a leap towards an unimaginable future. These technological leaps and bounds have brought us to the brink of the singularity, 
a point where machines could potentially outsmart us. Imagine a world where machines are smarter than humans. What does that mean for us? The singularity, a point in time when artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence, presents us with a future that is both exciting and terrifying. Let's delve deeper into its implications. On the one hand, the singularity could bring about a world of seemingly infinite possibilities. Imagine solving the most complex problems that have baffled humanity for centuries. With a superintelligent AI, we could potentially decipher the mysteries of our universe or find solutions to pressing global issues such as climate change. The medical field could also see unprecedented advancements. Picture AI systems that could analyze intricate human biology, discovering cures for diseases that we currently deem incurable. They could even pioneer methods to reverse aging, presenting us with the tantalizing prospect of immortality. But as with all powerful tools, there are serious risks to consider. One of the most pressing concerns is the potential loss of control over AI. If machines become smarter than us, could we still control them? What if they develop objectives that are at odds with our own? Another concern is job displacement. As machines become more capable, they could replace humans in many jobs, leading to widespread unemployment. How would society adapt to such a radical shift in the job market? Then there are the ethical dilemmas. If AI becomes sentient, should it have rights? How do we ensure that AI's decisions are fair and ethical? These are questions that we will need to grapple with as we march towards the singularity. The singularity presents us with a future filled with immense potential, but also significant challenges. We stand on the brink of a new era, an era that holds the promise of unprecedented breakthroughs, but also unprecedented risks. The singularity is no longer a question of if, but when. And when it does arrive, it will inevitably redefine the world as we know it. The singularity is not a matter of if, but when. So, how do we prepare for a future where machines surpass human intelligence? The singularity, that point of technological transcendence where artificial intelligence surpasses human comprehension, might seem like a daunting prospect. But preparation is possible, and indeed necessary, to navigate this uncharted territory. Firstly, understanding artificial intelligence is crucial. It's not about becoming computer scientists or AI experts, but rather gaining a basic grasp of what AI is, what it can do, and how it can be used. This understanding will help us adapt to new technologies and make informed decisions about their use. Another key element in preparing for the singularity is creating ethical guidelines. As machines become more intelligent, we need to ensure their actions align with our values. We need to establish rules and regulations that govern AI behavior, ensuring they respect human rights and preserve our ethical standards. But ethical guidelines alone won't be enough. We also need to foster a culture of lifelong learning. With the pace of technological change accelerating, we can't afford to stop learning. We need to continually update our skills, learn new ones, and be open to new ways of thinking. This culture of learning will not only help us keep up with the machines, but also enable us to use them to our advantage. Additionally, we need to consider the socio-economic impacts of the singularity. We should anticipate possible job displacements and think about how to create new opportunities in a world where AI plays a central role. Preparing for the singularity also means preparing society for a shift in the nature of work and the economy. In closing, preparing for the singularity is no small task. It's about embracing change, fostering innovation, and ensuring that technology serves humanity, not the other way around. It's about creating a future where we coexist with intelligent machines in a way that benefits us all. Preparing for the singularity is about embracing change, fostering innovation, and ensuring that technology serves humanity, not the other way around. The singularity, a point where machines surpass human intelligence, is a fascinating and complex concept. It's a point in our future that's both exciting and daunting, where our creations could outpace us in thought and innovation. We've journeyed through a timeline of technological advancements, each one bringing us closer to this pivotal moment. From the humble beginnings of the abacus to the dawn of artificial intelligence, our path has been a testament to human ingenuity. We delved into the implications of the singularity, exploring how it could reshape society, economy, and even our very perception of what it means to be human. 
But this journey isn't just about understanding, it's about preparation. We discussed the importance of ethical considerations and proactive measures to ensure we navigate this transformative era responsibly. As we stand at the precipice of the singularity, we are not just observers, but active participants in shaping our future.